If you are closely following electric car news, you must have felt the drought of new releases that we have been living through during 2020. Fortunately, it appears that the electric deficiency is finally over and we are flooded once again with promising EV rivals. In this episode, we'll sum up the freshest announcements in the zero emission world, talk about the rumors and scandals, and hopefully solidify your belief in the sustainable future of the planet Earth. Subscribe to Automotive Territory for all of your motorized news, ring the notification bell, and enjoy the ride! Lucid Air Just this summer, we reported that Lucid is finally back on track with their electric luxury sedan. They were testing over 40 prototypes, and now the company claims to have perfected the model and is ready to start production in spring 2021. The sedan beats all of the previous expectations, offering from 406 to astounding 517 miles of EPA estimated range. Lucid does not tell us much about the battery tech that allows it to cover all those miles, but we do know that it was in-house developed by the brand, has the capacity of 113 kWh and is compatible with DC fast chargers. The latter allows the air to regain 300 miles in 30 minutes. For now, the car will be only released in a dual-motor all-wheel drive configuration, making 620, 800 and 1080 horsepower. It will be connected inside out, will come factory equipped with 32 sensor driver assistance package and will challenge its major competitor Tesla Model S by offering a new level of first-class interior luxury. VW ID4 the newly unveiled MEB platform resident tries to distance itself from other electric vehicles. The Germans abandon futurism for conservative calmness and price the model at $32,500 after incentives, which allows it to go straight after the segment's IC bestsellers, RAV4, Honda CRV, or even VW's own Tiguan. The first edition gets a 250 miles EPA range and a single motor rear wheel drive powertrain with 201 HP and 228 pound-feet. The 82 kWh battery can be recharged to 80% in 40 minutes at 125 kW. Interestingly, first buyers will get 3 years of complementary charging, which is a courtesy of VW's Electrify America EV charging subsidiary. Shortly, we will also see a dual-motor all-wheel drive version of the crossover with 302 HP output. The AD4 interior is minimalistic, yet tech-packed, with such features as ID Lite, Hello ID, IQ Drive, and two screens. Cadillac Lyric In the recent years, GM were focusing on BEVs only in China, but now the American company has to work harder to catch up with competitors in the home market. Their latest effort comes in the form of the all-new Cadillac crossover that rides on a specially developed Altium platform and utilizes GM's new battery technology. Confirmed to offer 300 miles of range, the Lyric's battery has 100 kWh capacity. It uses 70% less rare earth materials than a traditional lithium-ion pack and is compatible with level 2 19 kW chargers as well as 150 kW DC stations. Cadillac says that the model will be released in a single-motor rear-wheel drive and dual all-wheel drive variants, with a starting price below $60,000. Being a part of the GM's luxury offensive, the 5-seater is expected to offer a quiet ride, plush seating, a state-of-the-art augmented reality head-up display, a 33-inch diagonal screen, and AKG 19-speaker audio. Audi e-tron S and S Sportback Whether a coupe or an SUV, an ICE car or an EV, if the vehicle is wearing an Audi badge, it is entitled to receive a performance version. In case of the e-tron SUV and Sportback, they come in the form of the new S models that are powered by three electric motors, producing 496 horsepower and 717 pound-feet. Two of the motors power the rear axle, while the third unit is located up front and is engaged in challenging performance situations. Interestingly, if you activate the sport mode of the ESC stabilization control and select the dynamic drive mode, 
you will be able to perform controlled drifts. Plus, the SUV will sprint to 60 and 4.5 seconds, tapping at the electronic limiter set in 130mph. Audi e-tron S and S Sportback get electrically adjustable sport seats with leather and Alcantara upholstery. The instrument panel is driver-oriented, and there is S badging all over the place. Support the electric revolution by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Leave a comment saying electric cars rock to defeat gas guzzlers once and for all. Let's get back to it. Lordstown Endurance When the Endurance pickup was unveiled in July 2020, it was slowly rolling through a warehouse and onto the stage. Much like a conceptual prop, rather than a hardcore machine, which was pitched by the presenters. However, since then the Lordstown startup, which was previously known as Workhorse, has managed to collect $2 billion worth of pre-orders and released footage of the truck aggressively hitting the dirt. The Endurance keeps the looks of its W15 predecessor, but completely rethinks the PHEV powertrain. All of the motors are placed inside the wheels to reduce the number of moving parts and provide true four-wheel drive capability. Combined, they make 600 horsepower, which translates to 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. The battery of undisclosed capacity is covered by eight years warranty, ensures 250 miles of range, and supports offboard power for tools and accessories at 120 volts, 30 amps. Skoda Enyaq IV the debut of the production-ready ENIAC IV took place in early September 2020, revealing attractive design with an illuminated crystal grille, sharp LED headlights, a curved roofline, and lots of wheels options, from 18 to 21 inches in diameter. As expected, the model comes built on the VW MEB modular platform and gets three battery options – 55, 62, and 82 kWh. Three lower-spec modifications get a rear-wheel drive system with a single electric motor and up to 283 miles of range. However, the top ADX and RS SUVs sport a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup with 265 and 306 horses respectively and get 255 miles of driving. Size-wise, the Enyaq IV is similar to the company's Kodiak model. It sits 5 and offers 20.6 cubic feet of boot space. Finally, the SUV gets the latest technology solutions, like a 13-inch central screen and an augmented reality head-up display. Rivian R1T With all the off-roading teaser videos, anticipation for the Rivian truck is simmering. Sadly though, fans will have to wait a little bit longer, since the illness delayed its first deliveries until June 2021. Till then, the prototype vehicle will be tested in the upcoming 1200-mile women-only Rebel Rally. M. Hall from CNET's Roadshow will be driving the truck through California and Nevada deserts while testing its promised capabilities. Most likely, she will get the top-spec'd quad-motor version with up to 400 miles range, 750 horsepower output and 11,000 pounds towing capacity. Though future buyers can also expect to see more affordable units making from 402 HP and offering 230 miles of driving. With its 3 feet water wading capability, rock crawling and high speed cornering modes, the Rivian R1T can become a worthy vehicle for this competition. Hyundai Ioniq 5, 6 and 7 Starting from 2021, Hyundai are initializing its rebirth of Ioniq program that by the year 2025 will reinvent the moniker as a separate battery electric vehicle brand. The previously existing Ionic sedan that used to be manufactured in strong hybrid, PHEV and EV versions will be joined by three all-new models, 5, 6 and 7. The newcomers will be built on the modular eGMP platform that was teased by the EV45 and Prophecy Concepts. The former gets labeled as the Ionic 5, and is a compact crossover that pays homage to the pony liftback Hyundai's first ever mass market model. The Prophecy, aka Ionic 6, is an upcoming electric sedan with coupe like design of 1920s and 1930s, an undeniable resemblance with Porsche 911. 
As for the Ionic 7, it is a yet to be unveiled large electric SUV. Hammer Electric GMC are willing to overlook the achievements of their younger competitors and boldly claim that their creation will become the world's first all electric super truck. By the 2022 model year, the iconic Hummer will return with an EV moniker and shall follow the open air design, meaning that four roof panels and front T bar will be easily removable. Preliminary data can from say single as well as all wheel drive dual and tri motor configurations with up to 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound feet of torque. It is also expected to use GM's new modular battery architecture, allowing for a variety of battery sizes. Nikola Batcher Developed for heavy duty use, essentially, it is a fuel cell and battery electric hybrid with astounding 600 miles of range. The Badger gets a large 160 kWh pack that ensures 300 miles, while another 300 is a courtesy of 8 kilos of hydrogen converted to electricity in the fuel cell. The Nikola pickup is expected to have a peak output of 906 horsepower and 980 pound-feet of torque, while also being able to tow 8,000 pounds and getting to 60 in supercar-like fashion of 2.9 seconds. At least on paper, the Badger looks like a very compelling newcomer, especially after General Motors have taken a 2 billion stake in the company and agreed to provide proprietary battery tech to the startup. However, according to the latest reports, Nikola Corp is under the investigation by the US Justice Department for alleged misleading of investors, which was cited in the so-called Hindenburg Report. Tesla Model S Plaid Many investors and EV fans were somewhat disappointed with the long-anticipated Tesla battery day. Since this time, Elon Musk did not have yet another groundbreaking EV model to introduce. However, the announced breakthroughs in the battery development that promise a 16% increase in capacity, 5 times more power, cheaper production costs that foreshadow the release of a $25,000 Tesla, and full self-driving do sound like great news to us. Moreover, Unwilling to yield to Lucid Air's latest claims of becoming the world's longest-range and fastest electric sedan, Tesla has officially confirmed the production of the Model S Plaid. The new tri-motor saloon has 520 miles of range and can put to the wheels 1100 horsepower that translate to 200 mph top speed, under 2 seconds 0 to 60 and under 9 seconds quarter mile time. Priced from 140 grand, it is already available for pre-order with production kicking off in late 2021. Volta Trucks Electrification is steadily spreading to all corners of the automotive industry, causing the rise of the new EV startups not only in the supercar or passenger car segments, but also in the commercial trucks market. One of the newest entries in this field is the Swedish Volta Trucks that revealed their first urban delivery vehicle in September 2020. Instead of a regular electric motor, the truck gets a new e-axle unit that contains the rear axle, the motor and the transmission. It is powered by a large battery with up to 200 kWh capacity that has lithium iron phosphate structure and promises up to 125 miles of driving. The bodywork of the Volta is revolutionary as well, since it is composed mainly from natural flex weave and resin materials that are biodegradable. Despite being a 16-ton vehicle, the model is compact enough to squeeze through narrow city streets, while also carrying 16 Euro-sized pallets. All these new electric cars by the industry's leaders feel like the game is finally on for the EV's domination. The sales are growing and specifications are getting better. How do you feel about the progress made by the presented lineup? Which one of the announcements is your top pick? Share with us in the comments below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory like the video, and as always, may the torque be with you!